Hello viewers, me and team here, and Horse Archers are the truth on Let's Play Civilization 4. This is Hall of Fame Challenger 2. An attempt to win domination on Monarch using the Ice Age map script. You know, I'm not really seeing a lot of Ice Age. I'm seeing a lot of Pangea. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. But okay. Why did I add extra civilizations? I haven't actually been asked that question yet, but it occurred to me that I probably will be. And the reason is it lowers the domination limit. Not to mention it spreads out the AI so that no one AI can get a lot of cities. <sighs> you know what, I don't want you massing up units because you get pissy, so here. Uh, I checked their monies. They don't have a lot. They do not have a lot of monies. And they don't have a lot of monies per turn either. So unfortunately really limited by what I can do here to make some gold. I mean I can be like, here, give me two gold per pig. But that's about it. But that's not very much. And so... Oh good, we got another combat four guy. I'm left to my own devices. And yeah, we're still scouting out the American cities here. And healing up. Yeah, we're going to be ready pretty soon to hit the United States of America Part 1. Because there are two of these guys. And you, run down there. Yeah, okay. Most of the backup horse archers are set now. I notice I'm not getting that many any longer. I am slowly growing my numbers. But... Nothing too serious. And that's because I'm hurting for money. And I'm trying to get through the attack uh, <laughs> to a point where I'm not getting myself killed. Actually, my raw beaker rate at 76 per turn is pretty good considering I have uh, 17 cities. Which you can see here, actually, since I'm running Buffy. But the negative 67 is a smidgen on the problematic side. So it's not all ducky horsey guns and roses. I'm just saying. Okay, so we got another guy there. Actually, I want to build this workboat because um, that can't be pillaged very easily. At least not before the AI gets astronomy. And the AI is nowhere near astronomy. Again, most of this beaker rate is from hammers, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> like, totally crappy, but seven peakers per turn, mostly from hammers. Okay. And yeah, maintenance is pretty high. I would imagine that um, once I get courthouses in, it's not going to be as bad. And if worse comes to worse, I could build wealth also. Um. I think I'll do that trade right before I declare. So on my own turn, instead of on his. Probably doesn't make a difference, but... Might as well be thorough. And otherwise, just keep making improvements, I suppose. In fact, I might be ready to go this turn. Looks like not. Oh yeah, okay. I'll leave you behind. I'm assuming the guys here would heal faster since they have a GG medic. And off we go. Hey look, he's got a frowny face towards me. Why's it gotta be that way, man? Just wanted to be your friend through conquest. I will manage your cities for you. And you will like it. Spearman Archer's group. He might be able to pick off the city with that, but I'm going to gamble that he won't and run over here. This should cause him some problems. Native Americans are much closer to my power than Gandhi. The only thing about Gandhi is if I somehow make it to feudalism, he'd probably peace vassal to me. Especially if I switch to Hinduism. I'm really not up for losing workers anymore. 
time where it was beneficial for me to sack them is past. I need them now. How would you do in a combat? Swords are a little rough. You'd rather see them than spears, though. Surprisingly, he's defending before the spear. Your guess is as good as mine as to why that is. I got a withdrawal. It's the best method you can do when you're using horse archers and attacking a difficult target. Withdrawal is definitely the best method you could do. Can avoid a lot of problems by taking that. Mistakes were made. So grab that. And the, uh, I checked the audio, and it turns out it was like getting no audio. So I don't know what was up with that, but... Hopefully you can hear it now. I turned it down again, just in case it's too loud. But if need be, I'll crank it up. It's koozy. It's very koozy. Um, these guys can't quite reach here. They can reach down there. I don't know that I like attacking LA with uh, five defenders. Hill archers are actually favorable against horse archers. So what I think I want to do here is shove these horse archers into Atlanta. Can he reach down here? No, because he doesn't have any mounted. Good. And then I probably want to pick off the sword. Or withdraw from it with my super great general nearly dying. And then run away. Bravely run away. And yeah, otherwise just attack and move down here like this. That way if he wants to come after me, he'll expose himself on the flatlands. And we all know that when you expose yourselves, uh, things can go badly for you. So when the eye exposes himself, I'll be happy. I don't know, sometimes exposing yourself can be successful, but usually it's not a good idea. And yeah, strike is very imminent. I'm really uh, not hurting for happiness, I don't think. No, I have... Uh, I'm, I'm under cap pretty much everywhere. Heck. I am, however, organized. Really? Enter edit mode. I want to see what you're producing. So, get this out of here. No. 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 Actually, that was probably worthwhile. Maintenance I don't need to see. Trade I really don't need to see. And let's exit edit mode. Here we are. Everyone here. Granary. Apparently you have one already, so you wield wealth. And otherwise... I'm just going to want to be ready for courthouses. Uh, maybe even Gondar can take a break for that. Okay. So what he did was move there like that. I don't think an archer can effectively attack a horse archer, and I don't think a spear can effectively attack an archer, especially across the river. So I'm just going to split my horse archers like so. And see how my opponent reacts in each of these uh, situations. Uh, 
Uh, right. Yeah. Kind of odd. It doesn't look like he. Or maybe I can pick this off now. He doesn't have any spears. He only has four defenders in this city. And I have a decent chunk of horse archers waiting in the wings to cause him grief. So, um, can I... there we go. I was gonna say, no damage, but I did. It's the other guys that... It's, a, it's an illusion of no damage. And there I died, but I did inflict a uh, healthy casualty. Survive again, and did damage. Excellent. And a win outright. Excellent. Now I should be able to power through and take Los Angeles despite it being on the hill. As per my usual practice. And hold it too, because I can get four dudes defending it. We all know about bow dudes defending it. Run away! Oh yeah. Best sound ever when you're doing the pillaging. Okay. So now we've grabbed two cities. Haven't taken too heavy of casualties. He might retaliate on this stack and cause some damage. Although he won't have winning odds. Because I have a 6 strength horse archer. Yeah, so he'll have 50% uh, odds. And then follow up will be a little bit dangerous because I have such high promotions. And if he goes up here, I'm just going to shred him. To bring about the rule of righteousness in the land Obviously, he picks this option, which uh, causes him to be shredded. Well, you know, that's brilliant. Um. Will he save me? I have my doubts. Oh, he just tried to do a run by. That's still not a very good idea, though. Because I do have some full health horse archers, and they can cause damage. Ooh, okay. We have currency code laws and monarchy. Well, access to it. We're going to take advantage of that at this point. Now, apparently, it's considered a quote-unquote exploit to chain revolt yourself. And, uh, when you're losing lots and lots of money. But hopefully, they will not begrudge me one civic switch and two things that will actually help my financial situation most likely. Again, I could trade for math. I, c I should have, probably. But, hmm, I don't really see it making a difference. I mean, what am I going to do with the research calendar? I think I have all the text that I need to either win or lose this game. Depending on if I run out of money. And yeah, I definitely need slavery. It's going to cost me money. But I need to get those courthouses whipped, because I'm going to be struggling with strike very soon. And yeah, no more spears. I'm just going to run away now. One turn and I'm fully healed. Excellent. Uh, let's get a chop. Oh, you moved up here. Is this that quote-unquote choking strategy? The AI never actually attacks you. He's still running around up there. I don't know, Jory's out. Jory's not out on cottaging. Yeah, I'll just chill out there for now. Might be able to do a little run into Sitting Bull's territory and come up through and attack Boston from the south with my secondary stack. That would be useful.
Okay. You go here. And the rest of you here. That should prevent any run by us to take the city back unopposed. <laughs> slaves, not slaves. Slaves, not slaves. <laughs> Strike averted. No. We're not employing that tactic. Even though it's uh, arguable that it should be banned. I don't think that's necessarily a guaranteed ban. But whatever. What are you doing? Make the courthouse. Can none of these whip? You build a courthouse. <laughs> At least he's willing to talk. So if I get into really bad shape, I can recover. It'll absolutely annihilate my finish date if I wind up losing horse archers to strike. But it doesn't mean the game's over. Not with this kind of production base. Ouch. It's a fairly impressive stack in Washington. <sighs> What's this? Lincoln's Archer. So no other flashing notifications of enemy forces nearby me. <laughs> wow. I could rush Chicken Itza. That would probably be the worst thing I could do. But I could do it. Um, a Golden Age might be able to save me from Strike. Can I take this? Five defend- no, six defenders against ten horse archers. Technically eleven. Maybe, because some of them are very well promoted. It's not like I'm going to be able to keep them much longer anyway. I go into strike this turn if I fail to capture it. So I might as well try, right? I'm attacking and losing units is better than losing units to strike. Unless it changes the outcome of the war deal. But I could always just buy out because I am technologically superior to these garbage AIs despite my financial situation. And so, we are going to walk into Washington. Ooh. I just captured Stonehenge, so I get stells in every city. Works for me. Oh, one important thing. After these courthouse whips, and I'm going to want to be whipping them. I'm going to want to build wealth. And yeah, I don't think I have any anything else I can get away with. I hate burning a great general on this. I mean, not a great general, a great engineer. But I hate strike more. <laughs> so we are going to fight it. Tooth and nail. And of course these AI aren't going to help me out by having any of these improvements for me. Yeah, but this should have the amount of I'm paying already. And then Forbidden Palace, Building Wealth. I should be okay. Okay, where did this just happen? Oh my god, so much spam. 
Okay, so he snuck that city away from me. And he ran down that horse archer. Okay. So it looks like what happened is he successfully killed um, my, my dude, but only with his archer. So I'll just snatch this back. Alright, we gotta go. Everything but Gondor, I want whipping in the courthouse. And I am organized, that does help. Yeah. Still, it's annoying that he took that city from me. And then I'll probably want Forbidden Palace soon, too. <laughs> it would just be comical if I somehow got away. With, uh, <laughs> being a, like a hundred gold per turn in the hole, and then just coming out of it without losing units to strike. But that is a useful method in this game. Still, no one having feudalism. Very useful. Uh, Roosevelt did have about 10% land, so I could expect about that myself. Mmm. Could I do it with just... No, I'd need to take someone out other than Gandhi. Although, taking this would be significant too. We're getting close, viewers. Nothing but horse archer. Oh yeah, look at that. My gold per turn negatives are not nearly as devastating now. Not that I'm out of the hole yet, because I'm not. You know, most people would consider negative 30 gold per turn itself not so great. And I would be inclined to agree in general. However, this is a much better situation than I was in a moment ago where I was losing hundreds. Alright. And yes, now we've finished courthouses. And so we go to wealth. <laughs> oh, jeez. Was there a shrine in this city? No. Of course, Justinian wouldn't do me such a favor. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we are out of the hole, huh? I'd say we are doing good. Doing well, that is. If we're going for grammar. I think I want one dude with shock. <laughs> Jesus. Minoan. Don't really want a library just yet in a lot of these places. Uh, just because I'm really not researching anything. And then, yeah, this guy just goes back to horse archers. And it's like I was never losing 100 some gold a turn. And beyond sad is the fact that I'm still the tech leader. I still have techs on multiple AIs. And at this point, Roosevelt would probably be willing to give me math for peace. And he'd give me everything for peace. But I think I'd rather just kill him off. Another option is to just leave Sitting Bull alone, take out Charlemagne and Gandhi, and uh, claim victory on domination without any vassals. 
considering my tech situation, that might be my best bet. And oh god. Frickin' Archer. I don't think he'll be able to fight through my fortified city, Archer. But we shall see, won't we? Okay, not much there. Yeah, it's just hard to keep up with these improvements <laughs> while we're using spies. <laughs> I could almost afford to start building horse archers with someone. Although I think my best bet would be to take a city that has reasonably good production, like Constantinople, switch it to emphasize production, and get some guys up here on the mines. And uh, finish the Forbidden Palace. Because a lot of this is coming from distance from Palace now. I've maxed out on number of cities maintenance. So if I can get that modifier of distance from Palace down, it's going to be worth like 40 or 50 gold or something. It's going to be insane. So definitely want to get that if I can. Buddhism spread in Cahokia. Leave you behind. Alright. Roosevelt is DED -E dead next turn. But not looking so hot this turn either. Combat 4, not quite winning odds. So we will flank you. Now, despite walls, we do get winning odds. Wow, I'm like being cavalier with my general and he's living. Can't even see my odds because the game is buggy. There we go. And with a damaged guy, I choose disrespect. You die. And actually, this sets me up well um, to deal with Charlemagne. Who's still at six cities? I don't think he has access to longbows just yet. No. Which means I could deal with him in spite of him being protective. Yeah, I'll get more workers. That's good. Almost all of them have been captured as opposed to anything else. Fine, we'll build a lighthouse. <laughs> Most of my city's life has been just building wealth and research. Or in the case of my starting two cities, more and more horse archers. Actually though, this city looks pretty strong and promising. You're going to add you to the horse archer production. Look at that, we're increasing our production. Not just placeholdering mass amounts of forces. And he chose not to attack, that suits me. Five archers! See, this is when horse archers start looking nice, because they can just kill these, you don't have to worry about it. Well, usually they can. You try to axe rush, this kind of stuff starts hurting you after a while. The horse archers, and they they leave a lasting impression. Yes, they do. So okay. Yet another civ is done for. We are <laughs> actually pretty close to domination. So I think we have another part or two left, and I'm going to go ahead and stop it off here since we did just slaughter somebody. So after a couple chops and other minor micro activities, I'm going to say thumbs up if you liked the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. The me and team signing off.